Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky uh, Synthesis, normal mode. That's where I was going to stop saying, uh. uh I came here <laughs> to hire a farmer and I got the signal trace for Dreams of the Deep. And I need some star bulb. And we've got uh, 7,000 light years to travel still. Uh, dreams of the Deep. Where, where, where? Over there on the fungal planet. Let's go get a free uh, underwater breathing apparatus. Oh, darn it. <laughs> See if we can get one more episode out of this headset before it dies. <laughs> the new battery is right next to me, but boy, I hate to hate to change over to a new battery if I don't absolutely have to. <laughs> Here we come transmission tower. <laughs> Ooh, knowledge stones. So the only uh, plant that I'm missing for making circuit boards is star ball. There it is. Uh, but I also need all these other plants uh, for the farmer. I was just gonna drop that farmer down on the ground and uh, then go to traveling. I need suit slots. I need glyphs, but more than that, I need to get out to the 714,000 light year range uh, because uh, I want to be able to travel to ocean beaches and um, do I have room for this? Oops, picked up so much stuff lately. I'll put it right there. Ouch. My tummy ache all of a sudden. Um, is there any fungal mold nearby? Right there. Oh, that's not even close to here. Jade peas. Jade peas. That's closer. Fungal cluster 363, you win. <laughs> we only need a little bit uh, just for the farmer. And then we're gonna do some traveling. Oh, I hope I make it. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd gone underneath the thing so far. <laughs> set up some stuff on the on the base not wiki base <laughs> it's probably way too much fungal mold <laughs> oh incoming storm well, I already know I can't make that jump <laughs> not that bad there we go I think I can make that jump. <laughs> oh, it's a bummer. I've been having fun all day long. And, uh, just all of a sudden, I got a tummy ache. Ow. <laughs> well. That's okay. Go say hi to the farmer and then book it out of here. Yeah, you can see what I've done on the base so far. Which isn't much, but uh, 
I didn't want to build up all of the, um, where's the base? I didn't want to build up all the biodomes and stuff uh, without you, uh, because I wanted to show you um, how to deal with biodomes. They're so big and unwieldy. I did get a few more containers put down uh, underneath the building. And uh, I had put in all the uh, frost wort that I was saving. I would put that in container eight, I think it was. But I didn't have, <laughs> I didn't have enough stuff to build uh, all the way up to container eight. So I had to go up to the freighter and move the stuff. <laughs> Rather than bothering with getting more stuff to more magnetized ferrite. It's the it's the crazy man's way. This ship is so much better behaved than the recalcitrant. <laughs> Farmer dude! facing the wrong way. I don't want you to face that way. You got your back to me. All right. Oops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, let's see. We need a wall or a window. Oh, I don't know where the glass is. Is this the way he was facing? I think so. There he is. That's much better. <laughs> Howdy! I just wanted to greet him. Uh, I'm not going to go any farther right now. As I haven't with any of the other employees. I've just hired everybody except for the Exocraft technician. Because you need to get a little ways in. Um, before you can hire the exocraft technician. So I put in uh, four hydroponic trays uh, to do the farmer quests. And I obviously I got the overseer, the scientist, and the armorer. And I put in a large refiner. And I've made a bunch of microprocessors. <laughs> and now I think, uh, I think we'll go up to the space station. I'm not sure if this is the farthest out we've been, but we'll try that. Got to get in a few jumps. Do some uh, quick suit slots. I have to at least finish the uh, tech slots. So that I can move all the tech around and get it going in the right way. Now just exactly like we did on PERMA 2020. Uh, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to unclick from this system. I'm going to change to Galactic Core. It looks like I'm already going in the right way. I'll just check really quickly. Line up these points and out we go. We can travel quite a bit farther on this save because I actually have six hyperdrives. Now, I'm not too concerned here with the economy, although it is better if you pick high economies. Uh, the point is to get going and to get myself out there. I'm actually looking for a Corvax system. There's one right there. And it's a high economy. Woohoo! <laughs> Righty. Oh, we we here. Uh, my problem is there's so many squirrels everywhere. Uh, aggressive sentinels. <laughs> Activated copper. 
<laughs> Looks like Dreams of the Deep is going to be interesting when we ever get to it. <laughs> Whenever we get to it. It's Wednesday night. Uh, Sword streamed. And while he was streaming, I realized... Uh, not only am I not set up to do an episode for when you're seeing it tomorrow. Um, here we go. I also didn't have um, anything at all ready to go. I wish it wouldn't change like that. Let's move this over there. And let's move this over there. And what that now I can see I'm missing a shield. Alrighty. And I also haven't loaded any shields. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this guy has. Just need one shield. Five support and movement modules. Have all that. Alrighty. It's a wealthy system, so we have to look at the multi-tool. It's a great big rifle. It is C-class, thank goodness, because I don't want to stop. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's really quickly check for a traveler. Uh, some people have been reporting having a hard time finding travelers, uh, specifically in Viking systems. I have two, and I'm having a hard time finding travelers overall, uh, but um, to be sure, the situation with having a hard time finding travelers uh, has, I believe, more to do with the players, with the character seed, um, than it does the game itself. I don't think there's anything wrong with the game. Uh, because it isn't really any different from uh, any other time that I've had um, looking for travelers. Look at that. Two wealthy Corvax systems in a row. Um, I have one character, Permadeath the Journey, who basically just whipped right through everything. Flew right into an S-Class freighter, uh, had a great starship right away. Um, got all the glyphs really quickly, um, just everything just went smoothly, and um, and that was his seed, and uh, he did all that stuff during next uh, on Beyond Survival. We didn't really have that much trouble finding travelers, but I think I was trying harder, and I'm not really so much in a hurry on the new permadeath show, Perma 2020. I think I'd like to get the glyphs um, on this one more quickly, especially considering how far along this save is. It's a shield. So we're well past 20 hours. I think we're past 25 hours, actually. Uh, B class, okay. I tried the camera trick of looking up there with a the camera, but not everything renders. Always looking at ships. This whole process of uh, jumping station to station really rapidly. Um, oh, there's an anomalous planet right there. Um, it's not really what I like to do, but I really can't believe. I mean, two. Two characters in a row, starting so, so far in. 
towards the center, 695 on one and 690 uh, on the other one, just too close to the center. And uh, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to use the distance and route calculator to do that. What am I going to have to do here? It's not very far out. What was that? Keck? All right, I guess we'll go to a Gex system. Let's go to a Gex system. See if there's a traveler there. Uh, on this one, on, uh, on Perma 2020, I found an alien multi-tool. And uh, Lava found the S-Class for me just with the greatest of ease. I, it was so fast. So fast. Uh, this guy hasn't found um, anything really. Uh, I've seen a lot of pistols, a couple of handguns, and this A-class rifle. And the thing is, where the A-class rifle came from, I don't think I would be able to... Uh, I wouldn't ask Lava to go looking for an S-class because uh, it was in a medium economy. And that makes it a lot more difficult. And he's been um, sort of doing some science on that and finding it really, really hard to find anything in a medium economy. Let's see if we can move some stuff here. That away, that away. And this is not a wealthy economy. It's just, uh, there's a traveler right there in front of me. It's just the, uh, the sort of RNG of the game. It's the same thing with uh, starships. Starships are very hard to find an S-Class in a medium economy. And um, it's just much easier. When you're looking for something valuable, it's just much easier to find it in a wealthy economy. Hello. B26. Let's go grab a glyph. That was awesome. I didn't even check the rest of the deck to see if there was another one. But if there is more than one, um, you need to get them one at a time. Like, don't talk to both travelers and then go. Uh, talk to one, go and get the grave. Go back, talk to the other one takes a little more time but you won't get the second glyph if you don't do it that way so far it's only been <coughs> excuse me it's only been since beyond that we've been able to get more than one glyph that way by talking to travelers in a single star system I still believe that you can get them all uh, in one on one planet but I mean you'd have to search high and low on that planet I found as many as three glyphs in one uh, star system at a time. I know that there's people that have found more. Combination of searching around and um, and meeting travelers. And like I said on Perma 2020, if you're really, really in earnest, oh, the Sentinels are hateful here. If you're really in earnest trying to get those glyphs, you can reload your game on the space station or go to uh, trade outposts, reload on trade outposts. And we're almost halfway there. Not too bad. I didn't see a single sentinel. <laughs> All right. Um, you can see, if you can see the, galax the galaxy map in the upper left corner, I'm not in a great position for traveling. Um, first of all, I'm too close to the center. Um, and second of all, I'm not in the right part of the quadrant that I want to be in. And so probably I'm going to do the Atlas path. Boy, I really got out there, didn't I? 
Probably I'm going to do the Atlas Pass. Um, might start that on the next episode. Uh, the Atlas Path gives you um, the Star Seed. Now we're going to have to get the uh, Cadmium, Indium, and Emerald to complete it. Uh, oh, nice. Um, <laughs> uh, but having the Star Seed is definitely going to help. And the Atlas Path also um, takes place in a really small space, so it doesn't um, it doesn't throw you all over the galaxy like the Artemis mission does. So you don't really like lose control of where you're at. That all sounds really weird, but uh, if you're trying to go somewhere as close to where we are. We're about 200 or so thousand light years from where I want to be. And uh, that's why I want to use black holes. So I can bounce to the other side of the galaxy and back. And uh, with any luck, end up right where I want to be. Yay, we got our tech done. I don't remember the economy. Let's see what we got. C class. <laughs> you used to be able to hear them. As soon as you got out of your ship, they'd yell out over the balcony, the travelers, but well, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> and if I sit here in this system and reload and reload, trying to get the glyphs, um, I want to come back and see that, um, it'll take, you know, far more time than I want to spend uh, doing this. What are we at? 710 already. Not bad. 11, 13. It's a nice thing about having uh, six hyperdrives, uh, upgrade hyperdrive modules on your ship. Um, for a fighter, you can pretty much, I, you know, you're going to get pretty close to 1500. Uh, what are we at? 1551? You're gonna get pretty close to 1500 without even trying. So we got uh, 226, 237, 219, 213, 207, 219. Not great hyperdrives. All of them are kind of terrible and a little bit mediocre. <laughs> so you're gonna get a good 1500 light years without even trying. An explorer, you're gonna get more. Um, than you will on any kind of ship. Exotics, you'll get more than you will on a, on a fighter. Um, even if all of your hyperdrives are only 200, uh, you'll get about 1350 on a fighter and on up from there. So I believe all the other ships have a hyperdrive bonus built in. So that's pretty cool. I feel like I'm half asleep. Sorry if I sound like I am. <laughs> My brain is in uh, mod moderator mode. <laughs> so when I'm uh, in a live stream moderating, um, I rarely ever do anything but that because I pay pretty close attention and um, I feel like you know I agreed to be a moderator I should do the job <laughs> I should pay attention <laughs> since uh, I'm really probably the only moderator that sort of has that 
um, doesn't work for a living. So um, I can I can give my full attention to it. It's an ugly part of space, isn't it? I can't pass up that. It's only 730 light years away, but it's wealthy. <laughs> With uh, the Atlas, I think, um, yeah, I think I'll move it rather than going back. Because I can go back, it's right on the teleporter. Shows you right on the teleporter where the major missions are at. I can go back, but I've also moved far enough that I can actually just reset it. And uh, it'll be just fine. All right, what do we got? C-class. There's an A-class multi-tool in the system, and there's probably an S-class multi-tool in the system. It's not what I do. <laughs> I don't hunt multi-tools, so I am going to take that and probably don't need the paraffinium. I might. I'll take it anyway. gonna make the, sure those went into the back and they didn't so I'll put it in the back. Is there room for that? Yeah. Alright. There we go. Looks like I have some modules to sell as well. All shuttles except for this hauler. Air conditioner salesman. <laughs> Grab the nanites. Yeah, look for a traveler. I still look even though I don't expect to see one. Because there might be one. There's no reason why there can't be a traveler in a Viking system. They just don't seem to be very common now. I have no idea what's causing that. If anything is. Oops. All right, 712. All right. Gak and Viking and Corvax is out of jump range. There's uh, another wealthy Viking system. Can't pass those up. A lot of people um, stay very close to where they spawn, and um, that's cool. That's a good idea, too. Um, I don't normally spawn this far in, so I'm, I'm not used to being this far in. I'm used to, you know, most of the civilizations are out there between, oh, 700 and 715,000 light years from the center, and uh, the ones that I'm involved in certainly are. I don't know why that is. Maybe just that's how that's at the point in the game when they got set up, you know. Uh, the uh, United Allied Systems is uh, pretty new. 
It was started uh, a couple of months before Beyond. A few months before Beyond. My sense of time is horrible. Um, <laughs> and uh, one of the other civilizations I'm part of, the Geknif Gang, started before Next. And uh, so it started, I think it started in 2016, but it could have been 2017. I don't know. I'd have to go look at the Discord and see what the birthday is. Let's just take a quick look here. I'm not picking up missions and stuff because I'm trying to get through this a little bit. I'm trying to get some suit slots so I get the stuff out of the front of my suit. I hate the words inventory full. <laughs> Answered my question. <laughs> oh, that's support. There's nothing wrong with uh, using supports, uh, support frigates, if you like them. Uh, I don't. I'd rather uh, look at. There's an S-class frigate. <clears throat> I would rather. Um, have a um, another space available for something like this. Um, this is not a really bad one. It's actually pretty good. So you have a total of 55 expeditions, which means there's still 21 more to go, and he's already a 39. That's a pretty darn good frigate. I am not going to buy it because it's too much money. <laughs> Nine million is a little steep for a frigate. <laughs> All right, let's get this lined up. There we go. We're already at 714, so this is going to be as far as I go out. And uh, then when we come back after uh, after the community event, so we have. The community event, and then we have an episode of Beyond Survival. Um, community event on Friday, the episode of Beyond Survival on Saturday. So Sunday we'll come back and we'll do uh, the Atlas Path. We won't uh, be able to make the uh, different Atlas seeds yet. Because I'll have to mount a cadmium drive and... You know, unless I can get lucky with the anomaly and get a Nexus mission that will send me um, to uh, all the different kinds of planets. I really only need Emerald. <laughs> I just need Indium. I mean, I just need an Indium drive. <laughs> and then I can go get all the stuff I need. But I haven't had any luck getting the Nexus to send me. Uh, to a system like that. Alrighty. It's not a wealthy system, so we're not going to bother looking at anything that's for sale. It's a long runway. Let's see if we can find two. Of course, I didn't go check the bar. Be one in the bar. We'll check the bar really quick. I didn't check the bar in any of those other systems either. <laughs> and I'll see if between now and Saturday I can manage to get some uh, emerald <laughs> somewhere. It's one of those crazy bars. <laughs> the big thing in the middle. <laughs> oh, that is bizarre. That is definitely different. 
It's got the wings and it's got the high back end. <laughs> Alrighty. Very cool. Uh, next time, Atlas Path. Uh, tomorrow we will be back with um, uh, the community event. <laughs> I think it's tomorrow. I get my days confused because today is actually Wednesday. <laughs> so tomorrow for you is Friday. All right. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, we will see you next time. Have a great day.